Good evening. My name is Max, and today I'd like to show you a little bit of my Pokemon binder. My Poke 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 Pokemon binder. Um, so it's a small collection of mine that I've been adding to each new set that releases and I try to keep it in order of uh, releases as well as the Pokemon uh, in question and the theme of sorts. You'll understand in a moment what I'm referring to, but first I'd like to show you guys this really cool playmat. Uh, I personally use this playmat when I play in Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments. It's very on-brand for me, so enjoy. Uh, her name is Panthera. His name is Caesar. They are both Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, and they're both featured on Yu-Gi-Oh! cards together. So, yeah. It's very on brand for me to have this playmat if you know me or follow my Twitter. So, without further ado, I'll place the binder back down. Give it a few more. Good luck, Tappies. And we will open the first page. On the first page is one of my favorite Pokemon, a uh, Galarian Berserker. He is quite the adorable little gremlin boy. Little, little gremlin boy. And I've collected all of the full arts. This here is the alternate art. This, I think, is the secret art. This is another full art Berserker, and one of the regular V arts. So he is the first thing you see when you open my binder. The alternate art is my favorite, of course. He looks like a dog that's begging for food, except I guess in this case it's money. On the second page, oh. on the second page here, we have the very obvious furry bait, Lucario. This is my favorite version of him. He looks like he's staring you down for whatever reason in particular. And on this page, we have the goodest boy, Boltund. Boltund, I think. He's just being a good boy, playing fetch with his trainer. On the next page, we have Urshifu. Urshifu is also, uh, well, this page in general. And the next following pages are a little on brand for me. But... Let's not dwell on that and continue with this, this absolute unit of a Pokemon. All of the Urshifus. This one here is the alternate art. And of course, the Rillaboom on the next page. We have some of my favorite tag team Pokemon. This one is the cutest. It's Lopunny and Jigglypuff. On this one, it's Garchomp and Giratina. On this one, Lucario and Melmetal. And on this one, Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. He is definitely, or these two here, are definitely some of the coolest. On this page, 
we have Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno in stained glass form. And to finish off, we have Dragapult, Dracozult, and one copy of Incineroar. Now, the reason Incineroar is on this page is because the rest of them are on the next page. These are all the copies of Incineroar GX that I own. These two are the Hyper Rare, and these two are the regular versions. Of course, I'm a bit biased towards this other absolute unit of a Pokemon. And quickly to follow in theme would be four copies of Machamp. Machamp V, alternate art. Machamp V, regular. Machamp V, max. Hey, that's me. And Machamp GX. All four of them are very powerful. And of course, this alternate art here is lending a hand to all of the people in the town that he's helping. On to the next page. We have another furry favorite, Lycanroc. Lycanroc GX and EX followed by Hisuian Zorark, another Hisuian Zorark V-Star. This art in particular is very majestic. As an additional little, uh, little giveaway, I'd like anyone that's made it to this point in the video to comment their favorite Pokemon card down below and I will send somebody one copy of this Lycanroc EX. But don't tell anyone else, though. Then we have Corviknight. I do enjoy Corviknight's little vibe that he brings, as well as a Leafeon here, Leafeon VMAX. On to the next page, we have Another gremlin favorite of mine, Sableye, and Wobbuffet. Banette here is another one of my top five favorite Pokemon. He has very interesting lore that he is a, a doll that has been possessed by the spirit of a human. I think there's other lore about the Sibyl that is attached to his mouth here, that something bad would if it was ever opened or unzipped. Some nice tippy-tippy-tippy-tippy-tippy-tippy-tippy-tappies. Some tippy-tippy-tippy-tippy-tappies over these little gremlin Pokemon. On to the next page, we have some other psychics and fire types. Chandelure, especially this Japanese one, it's very cool. And this Mimikyu VMAX, it appears that its trainer is using it as some sort of giant pillow. I could use a giant pillow right now. We have Toxtricity, and then a full page of Pikachu. Now I'd like to take a moment to explain the significance of both of these Pikachus. This one here is the very last card of the last generation of cards. The Sword and Shield series ended with this card, number 160 out of 159 concluding that series of sets. And this card here is the first promo in the new Elite Trainer Box for Scarlet and Violet, featuring 
all three of the starters from the new series. So we have Pikachu jumping off of one series and jumping into the next, as well as a surfing Pikachu and the birthday Pikachu that was actually gifted to me by Furry ASMR. So this one is another favorite of mine. Thanks again to him for helping out my collection. On to the next page, we have a full display of Zeraora in all of the amazing forms that he comes in. This one here is the alternate art, where he is on a snowy mountaintop. All of the others are very electrified as well. This one here, he is providing uh, electricity. I think he's short-circuiting a bunch of TVs from his happiness or whatever he might be feeling, some excitement. And then we have the giant Zeraora VMAX. And if you can see here, there is a small, I think, Pachirisu sitting on top of his head, sleeping. So, another favorite Pokemon of mine. On to the next one. We have uh, some of the newer Scarlet Violet cards featuring Koridon, Maridon, and their alternate arts. In this one, there's a little Fido who is looking up at the Maridon in absolute awe. Then we have both promo forms and this Spidops and Tarantula. In the Spidops art, he's coming down and you can see the end of a, oh, I forget the name, Scyth, Scyth, Scissor, Scyther, Scyther, here. And if you have the Tarantula, you can see that the Scyther is trying to catch the little ball. Now, if you have both, you can see that this one is catching the Scyther, and the Scyther is catching the Tarantula. Of course, we have two of the more famous people from the Sword and, uh, sorry, uh, Scarlet Violet series. And on to the next page, you'll see a full collection of assorted, adorable Pokemon. Now, I don't have the binder for it, but if you look closely, you will see that these three form the top row, these three form a middle row, and these two, and one on the next page, they form uh, a three by three grid that make a picture of all of these Pokemon playing together. Paris, Paris is in the bottom of that. I have a few foreign cards, uh, these two here. I think this is Latias, and another Toxtricity. This card gives off very, um, you came to the wrong neighborhood vibes, or you walked in at the wrong time. I think this card is very silly. Then we have Hoopa V in alternate art, a Regigigas V-Star, a Zacian, and a foreign Darkrai. On the next page, we have more alternate arts from the Scarlet Violet series. We have a Fido looking into the window of a bakery. We have a Scovillain uh, terrorizing a small cafeteria. A Drowsy uh, falling asleep and everyone else around him falling into some kind of, I don't know, psychosis. Uh, Nackley looks like they're using him as a cooking condiment, which could be funny or morbid, depending on your view of it. Uh, this Riolu 
was left alone way too long uh, by himself and uh, seems to have got himself into trouble. This ice cube is shoving his head into the refrigerator. Uh, a mabostiff who seems to be begging for a sandwich from its owner. And a flamigo just vibing in the water. We have a few more here. Another ice cube. Uh, this one is the terrestrialized, so he's swimming, I think, underwater. A cloth, who's giving you the look to not come any closer. A sandy ghast, that is almost doing the same thing. And a tauros, of which if this is your viewpoint of the tauros, uh, you might be too close. This Nine Tails is brand new. Actually, I got it yesterday from the new Obsidian Flames set. Uh, it's very majestic. It's one that I wanted the most. Uh, this Ditto. Tell me if you can spot the Ditto. A sleeping rock rough puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. He's a little puppy, puppy, puppy. Flareon here, uh, a Flareon uh, featuring Vaporeon and Jolteon in the background. They're all staring with their big cute eyes. Perhaps you'll give them a, a treat. Then, um, having trouble turning the page here with my claws, but we're reaching um, towards the end of the binder. But some of my favorites are the starters. Fuecoco, Crocolore, and Skeledurge. This, personally, was my starter in the new game. I very much love his no-thoughts, head-empty look. Sprigatito, Florgato, and Miascarada in alternate art. Another furry favorite, a very majestic flower kitten here, and on, uh, yeah, let me turn it from here on one of the last pages. We have Quaxley, Quaxwell, and Quackoval. All three here, you can see he is looking at himself in the mirror, getting more majestic each time, and a few more of the newer cards to come out out of uh, Obsidian Flames. We have Revavroom, Revavroom, a little gloom here, and a scissor. I have them all on the same page because they have a very similar color scheme, and I like to do that. And finally, on the last page, we have a foreign uh, Luxray, another Mascarada with a really cool lichen rock, and this adorable Shaman here, and a shiny rock ruff, a Galarian Preserker, an Incineroar who is asleep, and a Rillaboom who is, I don't know, just doing his thing there. Um, so that concludes my Pokemon Binder. I hope you enjoyed this journey through my collection. If there's anything you would like to see me add to the collection, I would be more than happy to uh, do so. I might need to upgrade this binder soon because it is getting a bit full. But until next time, I will see you in the next video, and I hope you have an amazing night's sleep. Some more tippy tippy tappies to send you into a restful night.